The world of monitoring is changing dramatically right now. We see a, a densification of data that is really changing the landscape. This makes it much, much more difficult even for a bona fide expert to figure out what to do in the midst of a complex problem. So the question now is not only about the gathering of the data, but it's more about what we do with the data once it's been gathered. We're moving away from the days where we care particularly about a high CPU or a full disk as the trigger to a problem or an escalation. We care about those things, but we care about them primarily as related to the quality of a user experience. And we use the user experience as the trigger point and then we use the artificial intelligence, machine learning, advanced analytics to dig down the stack through a deep pile of metrics to find the root cause. Moving away from descriptive data, just telling me that some uh, metric crossed a threshold or that I have a certain number of things that are out there in any given metric, but moving towards a prescriptive nature. That is, what should I do as a result of this? Customers that are embracing this have less alerts. They have less escalations, they have less outages, and they have an increased uh, user experience. One of the newest terms around AI ops, I believe, is oriented, oriented against the problem of data density. We have a huge volume of data and it's increasing logarithmically. And um, while we're working to create tools that are easier to use and so on, this density of data is making it near impossible for practitioners to see into the bottom of a problem. So with that in mind, when you think about AI ops, it's not only about finding the right math algorithms to, uh, to get to the bottom of the story. That is important, but I think we sometimes miss the, the crux of the problem. If we only look at the math applied against all of this data, it's gonna be wrong sometimes because statistically it's going to find connections to data points that actually contextually don't belong together. The way that we want to address that is through expertise, quite frankly. In the world of operations, there's a pretty well known number of problems and applications. Maybe you call a database or a backend too many times. Maybe you have a large unit of work that, that's, that's uh, not been committed quickly enough and so on and so on. These patterns are known and using expertise from companies like CA, we can apply these known patterns together with data science techniques to take these large volumes of data and crunch through them in a way that will help us arrive at a correlated root cause much more effectively than just simply throwing math at a large volume of data. As we descend into the world of analytics and specifically artificial intelligence and machine learning, uh, there, there's some things that are really important to consider. One of those is that correlation is incredibly important. The best algorithms are still going to have difficulty identifying the right pieces of an application experience to look at and identifying the correct root cause if you don't have a good correlation model. So having a strong correlation model, giving us that proper skeletal structure underneath upon which we layer in all of the different data gives us a much better chance at great root cause analysis in the smallest time possible. As you begin to look at getting into the world of AI ops, where do you start? Well, the first place to look is at both breadth and depth of data that you have. Your operations, your analysis of, of this data is only going to be as good as the quality of the data that you have. And we think that if we have enough data, that's going to solve the problem. That is not actually true. We need correlated data that needs to have the right level of fidelity. That means you need, it needs to have the root cause embedded somewhere deep within it. So if you don't yet have instrumentation on, on your most important applications, instrumentation from the user experience, from the application, and also from the, the network and infrastructure, start there. That's the breadth of data that you need. Within each of those areas, you need a depth of data that will help an expert identify exactly what's going on. Not just cursory high-level metrics that talk about the response time of a, a, a particular web page or a CPU on a system. Underneath that, you need correlation. Correlation is critically important. That correlation allows you to tie together the user experience ultimately to a root cause, whether that root cause is in the application or the underlying infrastructure or even network. Uh, one customer that's marching down this path started using user experience as the trigger point to uh, an entirely new application stack that they rolled out not too long ago. This app stack had all the new modern technologies in it and also had an accompanying new and revised mobile application. When the app was rolled out at the stroke of midnight, shortly thereafter, they identified that they were having a large number of crashes. The crashes, I think, were affecting about 10% of users over the course of a few hours. Their traditional monitoring tools weren't able to identify the cause of that problem. They had visibility that the problem was happening, but they couldn't see exactly why. Using our solution, they were able to identify actually very quickly that the problem was in a third-party payment gateway. 
That is code that was owned by somebody else, but which was embedded inside their application, causing about 10% of, of their users to crash. Because of that visibility, they were able to correlate it back to the, to the user experience, see exactly who the users were and what they were doing. And from that, they were able to quickly then isolate that root cause and get the problem remedied before the start of business that next day. That's exactly what we're talking about in, in uh, prescriptive problem solving.